What can you say after that? What can you say that isn't a surprise? That every Manchester United fan couldn't go into this game expecting to see. United not only just beaten by Crystal Palace at home there at Old Trafford. Not only did we see Wilfred Zaha score two goals against us. We got pumped. We got steamrolled by Roy Hodgson's Crystal Palace. Man United, wake the fuck up. Ed Woodward, wake the fuck up. We need a new centre-back. We need a new right winger. If this is not going to be United for the whole season. It wasn't a surprise to see what happened. United came out for the first 20 minutes. Uh, the first 20 minutes. The first 90 minutes. And we were gash. The reason we need a new centre-back is because, first of all, Lindelof is not good enough. That was horrendous defending for that third goal. And it was just horrendous defending for the whole game. Luke Shaw was at fault for the first goal when Townsend was in at the back post. Bad, just, just shit all over the pitch. And I don't really think there's any need in this match reaction to talk about individual performances, to say who played slightly less shit than another player. It's indicative of where United are right now. Van der Beek, he scored a goal on his debut. A nice cool finish into the corner. It meant absolutely sweet fuck all because Van der Beek was not the priority signing for Manchester United. A centre-back and a right winger, and I would argue a central defensive midfielder, were and are and still are, with a few weeks left in the transfer window, these signings that United need to make. And maybe one good thing that can come out of that horrendous performance there is that it really will force the issue. Because the issue has to be forced because seemingly United don't want to do it if they're not forced into doing it. And it's fucking tragic. It really is, because it, the problems are so obvious and there to see. And David Haye finally saves a penalty, and VAR decides that his foot is 0.7 millimetres off the line, so he has to get retaken. Absolute joke. Shouldn't have been a penalty anyway. But that was the least of United's problems today. And, and, and it just was not a surprise in any way, shape, or form. You'd never bet on United to win, because that sort of performance is always a possibility. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer really is getting thrown under the bus now by Ed Woodward, by Manchester United, to become the fourth manager in succession that is the, f that is the full guy for the problems that exist behind the scenes at United. And at some point, the pattern has to change. Well, as far as us fans are concerned, the pattern has to change. As far as the United are concerned, the pattern will never change. But... We need to fucking sign players. It is as simple as that. Unless we sign players, performances like that are going to come every two or three or four games for United. We are not good enough from playing out from the back with the ball. United in possession, in our own half, it's horrible to watch. I just sat there today and I've watched, was it Leeds play Fulham? 4-3, fantastic game. Everton score five against West Brom. 14 goals in two games. Yes, the defending was not there. But I enjoyed watching those games more than I enjoyed watching United play. Because United are just so horrendous to watch in possession. It's lethargic. It's slow. The movement is just not there. And it comes down to confidence. It comes down to how the team is and the shape of the team and the sh just the mentality of the team. And right now, when you've got Liverpool announcing the signings of Jota and Thiago in a 24-hour period, and you've got Chelsea, you've got Havertz, they've got Werner, they've got Ziyech, they've got Thiago Silva, they're about to sign a goalkeeper, Christ, they've signed the world, and you've got Man City signing Torres and, and strengthening, and Arsenal, even Arsenal, are bringing, and even Spurs are bringing in Bale and goddamn Regulon. <sighs> United need to buck up or sack Solskjaer, one of the two. Because it's the same situation that we've been in before. You either back the manager or you sack the manager. Right now, they're forcing Solskjaer down the path where he is going to get the finger pointed at him by so many in the media, by so many fans, because the performances just aren't there. And looking at that starting eleven, maybe that was even a even a nod, even sort of a, a nod from Solskjaer to the board, a bit like Mourinho. I think Mourinho done that a couple of times as well by starting Dan James over Greenwood. Weird. Uh, by starting. Uh, I haven't really got a problem with Tomine starting, Fosu Mensa starting a right back instead of Wan Bissaka. Was he not fit to start the game? I don't know. I don't give a fuck. I just care about United signing the players that we need to build on the successes of last season. 
Last season was not a success for United, but it was a success in terms of using it as a stepping platform. Finishing third is not the goal for United. It never will be. Well, it's maybe for the Glazers it is, and that is the issue. But finishing third was a stepping stone to what should be us breaking into that top, that top two, at least pushing for it. That's the goal this season. And we can't do that this season unless we have the right players and the reinforcements. Our squad already wasn't good enough before our rivals strengthened. And now we need to strengthen even more. A centre-back is essential. A right winger is essential. And I would argue a fucking central defensive midfielder would be just as essential as either. But United, with a few weeks left to go in the transfer window, Ed Woodward is sitting there with his goddamn mask on in the, in the Old Trafford crowd. I say crowd. In all of the people that were in Old Trafford. And Fergie's sitting a few rows in front of him. He must be fuming at what he is seeing. But Fergie was part of the enabler that, ha that enabled all the Glazers. Had to, that's, 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 fucking, that's a different topic altogether. But it's just... It's frustrating, and it's got nothing to do with angry fans on social media. We can see the shit that's in front of us. You can see the shit that's in front of you. It's just that as fans, we want something to be done about it. But you, as Ed Woodward and the Glazers, do not give a fuck about that. And I'm, I don't know whether it's going to change. I don't know whether in the next couple of weeks we're going to get the signings in that we need. But the reality is that even if they do come in... Some damage is already done. We're now immediately from week one playing catch-up in the Premier League. And we didn't need to do that. We needed to sign the players earlier and get it over and done with. But we haven't. We're now we're starting handicapped in comparison to our rivals. That all goes down to Woodward. You're such a prick, man. You're such a prick. Maybe I'm going too far in this video, but it's just... I'm sick of it. I'm tired, Robbie. I am tired. Nobody is surprised by that. Losing 3-1 to Crystal Palace. Zaha scoring two. Makes you sick. And unless United sign players between now and the end of the transfer window, get used to that performance because we're going to see it a lot this season.